Who first? So does this mean you'll be able to play with the mask? Uh, we're really just trying to figure out. Today I gave a shot on being able to wear the mask and try to adjust it and feel like how it was going to be on the court. We're still going to try to be able to figure out what I'm going to be doing moving forward. But to say this now, I'm going to be uh, having a procedure on Monday to reset my nose since it is broken. Yeah. What was it like with the mask on? Um, you know, playing with a mask, I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. But, you know, <laughs> you got to be able to just go through the highs and lows and work through it. Uh, I definitely say that be it's way more detailed than college because you know in college you have uh, a whole week to be able to prepare for a team versus in the NBA you have uh, maybe a day to be able to prepare for a team so there's a lot more expectation to watch film a lot of expectation to get here early to get your shots and then being able to come in do what you need to do in practice and be able to stay after so that you can become better a better player I know you haven't had it long but what do you see as the value of practice when you don't get that many of them uh, just being able to just try to work on something work on things that we've been struggling on you know defensive transition uh, you know just a lot of being able to work on communications or rotations and being able to know and to trust each other one thing the Mavs have been impressed about you is just how quickly you learn that style and how quickly you pick up on it. You know, is that, do you feel like you are someone who can quickly kind of grasp the, you know, these concepts? Uh, yeah, I feel like you just got to be able to show me show me it on the court once yeah. and then it's got to go through it to be able to work on the timing of just different actions. So I could definitely say that's been something that's been able to help me throughout my uh, throughout so far in my career. Are you a quick learner in all areas? Um, a good amount of areas, yeah. We're not going to say all. You know, reading ain't my strong suit, writing neither. But you got to be able to just try to pick up things as you go as fast as you can. Yeah. Visual learner, I guess. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so that's, sure. that's where the encore part of it comes in. Yeah. So we haven't had a chance to talk to you, obviously, since uh, the Rising Stars announcement. Mm -hmm. Not a surprise, but <laughs> how, like, maybe it was kind of strange to find out that news while you're sidelined. Uh, sadly, yeah, but you got to be able to be grateful. You know, uh, being able to be fortunate enough to be able to be given this chance is amazing. You know, I definitely wouldn't be able to, at the beginning of the season, if you told me I'd be able to be able to get this far, I would be like, no way, I wouldn't imagine it. So just being able to know that I'm going to this game, um, I'm excited, uh, and I'm just excited to just touch down, being able to just be a part of the atmosphere and just get to know everybody. Can you talk to others who have been there as when they were younger and maybe what they got out of the experience? Uh, you know, I've only been able to pick the brains of only Luca so far of uh, being able to talk about the Rising Stars game. And he just said, talks about it, just go, go out there and just have a great time. You know, it's a once in a lifetime experience. You just being able to just go out there, enjoy yourself, and just have fun. He hit a half court shot of his. Yeah, um, I don't know if I could do all that, but I'll be able to dunk it, which I know he ain't doing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got that on him. Now, way, way before you were born, your coach actually. Yep. So yep. You might be able to tap in. A bit. I definitely got to ask Coach Kidd about that too. But you know, just being able to be in this position, you know, I'm just grateful for being able to for people to vote for me. I'm just grateful to be for people to just acknowledge me. Mm -hmm. uh, just to go back a little bit, so the procedure will be on Monday, but the team is obviously supposed to be playing on the road. That means you'll be here and not. Them or so I'm definitely going to be doing the procedure on Monday here in Dallas and just being able to figure out the timeline. It all is going to depend on how I feel. So I can't tell you where I'm going to be because I don't know how I feel. Right. Mm -hmm. I just want to confirm that, yeah. that obviously you'll miss that game. Yeah. Okay. I know it's unfortunate that you're going to miss playing in Philly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I, I, there was definitely a lot of people that I had, a lot of family was going to come out and support. But, you know, I just want to hope that my team goes out there and just uh, plays together well and just develops just a, the trust that we want to continue to uh, build. The Rising Stars game, anybody you're looking forward to meeting or hanging out with or playing with? Uh, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm just going there, just looking to meet everybody. You know, I wouldn't say there's one person I'm going there to just try to look for, but I just want to be able to just try to ask people how their season's going, ask them uh, what have they learned, what ups and downs have they gone through so that I can just try to pick the brains of people and try to get a different understanding of a different viewpoint.